What's up guys, this is my max effort week, so this is my day one squats and bench. So I had the goal to try and hit a PR on this day, so I wanted to go for 370 for a triple, but as you see here I failed after the first rep, and this was quite disappointing because I thought I had more than that in me. So I feel like um, a reason why I failed that set is because I just had a bad setup and just not being able to find the right position for myself. And why I say that is because if you notice there, my feet were pointed out quite a bit. And that's something I've been working on in, in uh, my squats recently, is just finding a better foot positioning and just overall squat, uh, just squat cues and all that, just to improve my squats. And so that was something that was improved on in this workout itself, and I'm pretty happy about that. So as you see in some in these uh, progressing sets here, my squats looked a little better and uh, I felt way better than previous squats before. And the reason why that is is because in this workout I changed my foot positioning slightly. So I've learned that I squat, I tend to squat better uh, when I have my feet a lot more narrower so about shoulder width for me and I don't point it out as much as you saw in the first clip. So that's going to be something I keep um, keep on working at so hopefully I'll be able to make a lot more squat gains. So after this last set of squats I moved over to the bench press where I put it on five minutes on the clock and uh, once again I tried to uh, see how many sets of three I could do with 185 and so on this day I got five uh, five sets and I was okay with that so something I feel like I might change up in my program is uh, adding in the overhead press so I might either take out the bench press on day ones and just do overhead press, or if I'm feeling really good, I'll do both on both on this day. So here I am showing you my bench setup. I think it's really important that you set up properly and get yourself tight and engage all your muscles just to get the most out of your bench press. So that's pretty much it for this workout. I ended it off with this uh, shoulder movement. The shoulder accessory where I do one arm dumbbell presses and I like this because I feel like it just targets uh, one shoulder at a time so trying to eliminate as much muscle balances as possible and just overall bringing up my shoulder development. So that's pretty much it for this video, hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up, comment, share, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.